All right, everybody, so when I upgraded to iOS 14, I wanted to keep it really clean and very informational. So the way I looked at it is I'm gonna have one app, that's gonna be my shortcuts app down in my dock. So when I wanna run different shortcuts and different things, otherwise, if I swipe right above there, I can bring up the traditional search or I can use this first item. This is a smart stack that Apple created and basically just with information they think I should be seeing. Then I've got a custom stack right above that that I created with information that I wanted to see. And then I downloaded an app in the upper right hand corner called Color Widget so I could create nifty, cool, date and time and battery percentage widget. Then in the upper left hand corner I downloaded an app called Widget Smith that allows me to create different widgets I can add them in different size. I can even do like different tools and stuff like that with Widget Smith. It's pretty slick. So then I wanted to, so when I swipe to the left, I get to my normal widgets and there I can just scroll down and see different information that I have in some of these widgets. If I swipe all the way to the right, I no longer have my super messy series of different pages and now I've got just the app library. So now I can easily just search for something and open it up. Let me show you how to go from super cluttered to organized and fully getting all your information with all these widgets and stuff. I'll get you set up. All right, so as you can see, my desktop is extremely cluttered. And you have to swipe over and over and over to get to the home screen or the widgets. Here's my widgets that it came with. When Apple set it up, there was actually probably a couple more, but so let's start off just by going and getting the apps that we need. So let's open up the App Store and we're gonna type in Widget Smith. And you got the very top two that I downloaded. So I downloaded Widget Smith and I downloaded Color Widgets. So once you have those installed, you'll be able to do those two custom widgets that I had up at the top. So let's first open up color widgets and I'm going to choose the one that I want out of the list. I like this one right here and I'm going to say set widget. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to add it. So then I'm going to do widget. Smith. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click. Oh, and we'll, we'll actually just do the, the one I had. Oops, I'm going to do this one. Save. So now I'm going to come back out of there. I'm going to swipe to the left, click and hold down. And up in the left hand corner, I'm going to click the plus. You're going to see that I've got color widget right here. I can choose the size that I want. I just want it to be that one right there. And then I want to add another one. Scroll down. And where is my... I've got to go all the way down to Widget Smith. I'm going to click Add. And that is my Widget Smith. And I can choose which one I want it to be. Boom. Widget and my color widget items that I can now drag to my home screen, but I don't want to yet. So any widgets that you want that are made in this top area uh, can be drug over to your home screen. So if I just drag this guy over, it would be on my home screen wherever I want it, right? And I can put that guy wherever I want that guy, but I don't want to do that yet. One second. I'm going to come down to customize down at the bottom. And this is where you can add in items that can't be moved to your home screen. So I'm going to add in a couple of these that I really want to have info on. And one sec. All right. I grabbed a few. And you'll notice everything from developer on down are items that I'm just 
able to add to this lower widget section, but I can't drag these over to my home screen. They, you just can't do it. They're there purely to give you information, to give you a way to access that information. So if I click on the Google traffic, it'll bring me up to Google Maps. You do need to hit edit and then come all the way down to customize to remove them. So if I don't want the Google traffic one, I just come up here and hit remove and it's gone. So now I'm going to click done. I've got some, I've got this smart stack that Apple created up here that I'm going to use to bring over to my main screen. And then I'm going to add a couple more. So what I want to do is I want to add, let's do this widget, the notes widget. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this notes onto this and I've just created a smart stack. So now that smart stack, heck, I can even bring this other item in there. Now I've got a smart stack with three widgets in there. All right, I'm gonna hit done. And I'm gonna go swipe to the right. And now let's clean up these screens. Click and hold on the screen, get it all shaking. Click on the dots on the bottom. And now I can uncheck these different screens so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag one of these over drag these guys over so they're just back over there so now I'm gonna click down on the bottom again and I'm gonna uncheck that now that I've got my one screen with my widget on there. So now I can come back over here, start dragging some of these widgets onto the screen. Oops. And I want this guy. I'm gonna hit down real quick, one second. Click and hold on that screen again. I'm gonna come back over to guy over here I'm gonna click and drag these guys off onto their own page and I'm gonna click the dots on the bottom I'm gonna hide that page click done up in the right and then I'm gonna swipe to the right so I'm gonna go to my app library and I'm just gonna grab this shortcuts app and drag it down into my dock and that's it. We just fully customized our screen so that it's super quick and it's very cleaned up. So hopefully you like this video you guys and you're rocking out iOS 14 and widgets and uh, cleaning up and customizing your screen because I think it's pretty awesome. You guys have an amazing week. Take care. Make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. You guys take care.